Hi, I'm Mackerel Vones. I'm playing this game, the Count Lucanor. I learned it existed because I think, if I remember right, I saw it on Slow Beef's channel. I don't actually know what it is, though. It's some sort of adventure game, I believe. Let's take a look. A pixel fairy tale? This is a somewhat lower graphical fidelity. Uh, anyway. Mom, I'm back. Do you know what day it is today? Well, as soon as your birthday, eh, kiddo? Of course I know. You're ten years old today. Happy birthday. Thanks, Mom. Yeah! Or how would, how would he say it? I guess he's saying it like, Yeah! Have you bought me any presents? Maybe... A toy? Hans, my dear, you know we have almost no money since your dad went to war. But mom, it's my B-Day. Do we have any sweets to eat? I'm sorry, there's nothing special. Come on, help me set the table. Well, we're poor peasants, Hans. Well, enough's enough. All kids in the village have presents and sweets for their birthday. They even throw parties. Hans, I'm sick of this house. I'm sick of not having toys. I'm sick of being poor as a church mouse. I understand now why Dad isn't coming back. Where are you going? I'm leaving. I've just turned ten. I'm a grown man. Hold on, kid. Hans, please. I'm going in search of fortune and I'm not ever coming back. I'll be an explorer, or even better, I'll be a prince in a castle. Goodbye. You lost your husband, and now you lost him too, huh? I wish they had gone a pixel higher for those letters, though. Hans, wait. Are you really leaving? You're still too young. You may think you're a grown-up, but you're only ten. Besides, life is really hard outside, and the woods can be really dangerous for you. I don't care. I'm really strong, and I've been alone in the woods many times. If you're really leaving, at least let me do what I can to help you. I've got some things for you. I don't need your help. This cane belonged to my father, your grandpa, at, well, thanks for explaining who that is. And has great sentimental value to me. I'm sure it'll help you on your journey. Yeah, okay. This is all the money we got left. Take it and spend it wisely. Uh, you're a long-suffering person, eh, Mom? Finally, this is all we had to eat. Eat your food slowly. It'll last longer. And this is it. I can't give you anything else. Hans, please don't go off the road. Be a good boy and remember, I'll be here if you want to come back. This is a fairy tale, huh? 
with this baroque sounding beeps and bloop music. Oh, oh, okay. Like our dog? Hey dog. Spittle, I can't play with you anymore. I go on adventures just like dad did. I might not be coming back for a long time. Hey, but where's your bone? It has to be around here. Well, there's one thing we'll do before we'll leave then. This is that kind of odd uh, pixel graphics where they're not like a nostalgic thing because there were never games back in the 90s that looked like this. That's Spittle's bone. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's a bird on the roof. For a moment, I thought it was some sort of weathercock. Hey there, boy. You want this bone left over from some pork roast we made or something? Seems he wants his bone. To give him his bone, I should open my inventory with delight and equip it. I can also change fast between most important items with LB and RB. Okay. That was a really great bit of dialogue. I'm glad it was there. Okay, so... There you go, Spittle. That's your bone. Yay! I have to go now. Take care of Mom and don't go away. You're a good doggo. Uh, Hans, I feel like you're gonna regret this. But what am I doing? Now that I'm old, I can't play with the swing anymore. Oh, you're gonna regret this, Hans. Oh boy. There's a lot of bad stuff out in the world, you get me? Not sure what this cane's gonna do. I'm happy I don't have to fetch water from this darn well anymore. Darned, huh? Like darning? Isn't that something about the treatment of cloth? What the? Is that a cross? What's that there for? I think I'm taking what I've hidden in the tree hollow. You think? There's like a million sirens always going past me. But all right, chestnuts, huh? Tasty. Did we hide anything else around here? Oh, those blue flowers remind me of the kind that used to be in my grandma's yard. But then they died. Everything dies. Wow, is it dark up here. Is this really the road into the forest then, huh? I just want to be sure I didn't miss anything that's still around here. I don't think we want to take an extra pair of clothes. Which you think that Mom at least would have thought to give us. But I guess not. Okay, fine. This is the only road out of here anyway. We're gonna go to town, and I don't know what we're gonna do to town. Maybe we'll try to learn a trade. We'll become an apprentice. Yeah, we'll get an apprenticeship with the Count Lucanor. Eh? Bunnies? I know she said to stay away, you know, to stay on the road, but like, surely... Okay, whatever. It's okay if you get a little bit off the road, because like, I have a brain and know how to walk back onto the road. That's a useful thing, even if I'm just a ten years old boy. Hangman's Woods. That is an ominous name. So, is that this way, or is it this way? Or do both roads lead to the same place? Do they all go to Rome? This is the path to the village, but it's really boring. I'd rather go on adventures. You can't just refuse to go to the village like that, Hans. You need some kind of equipment. You don't just go on adventures. You go on adventures maybe after you buy a pack of food. Okay, I guess that he's going to be stubborn about this. Hans, you ten-year-old fool. All we have are chestnuts. You're going to starve in the hangman's woods. Yeah, let's, let's stick to the road. Isn't there a game that's like a Little Red Riding Hood kind of thing? But it's called maybe The Road, and they're on a road in the woods? Well, here's a person. How you doing, ma'am? Are you a swineherd? Hello, young one. What are you doing here alone? The woods can be really dangerous for a kid. I'm a grown man, lady. I'm ten. 
Oh, well, I see you're a man indeed. Perhaps you can help me then. Oh boy, our first adventure. What's wrong? I was on my way to the market in the village to sell this pig and make some money, but my cane was stuck in some rocks and it broke. I need that support to walk, so I don't know what I will do when night falls. Won't you have, by chance, something to help me keep going? I could hand her the cane Mom gave me, but she told me it was my grandpa's. To give her the cane, I should take it from my backpack and show it to her. You see, I'm a little torn here. I don't want to leave her here, but on the other hand, I might be able to find another cane. I, I can't pick up that stick, huh? I'll do a good deed. You know, in fairy tales, things go better when you do good deeds for people you meet along the way. Maybe if I help her now, later this old woman will save me from a goblin or some other thing like that. There you go, lady. Please use this cane here. I know it's an old, important family object. But, hey, we're saving an old lady's life. That's, that's worth it, right? Oh, thanks a lot. Your mother should be proud of such a good son. Come on, you darn slacker, move your ass! Uh... Goodbye, son. I hope we meet again really soon so I can return the favor. Maybe with some bacon. See you around, Granny. She's a bit short-tempered, bit irritable when it comes to pigs. Oh, Bambi? Goodbye, Bambi. Man, that poor deer's probably really freaked out. I've, like, interrupted his lunch like that. Caw, caw, caw? I don't like ravens at all. Mama said they bring bad luck. Quoth the raven. Caw, caw, caw. Well, we're gonna have some bad luck. Is that what I'm getting from this? It is true that we passed a raven and their bad luck, right? Oh, it's an ass. Hey, do you have a rider around here? Hey, Mr. Donkey. Where do you come from? You look hungry. Look, it clearly has, um, I forget what those things are that are around the neck. It has some kind of yoke. Is this a farm? There's a fence right here. And some apples. I'm not gonna take them, because this probably belongs to someone. They'll be like, dude, why did you take my apples? That's also a fairy tale kind of thing. It'll probably belong to, like, a witch, you know? But then again, we could just take one of those apples and feed it to the donkey, and the donkey will help us. Right? That's the sort of thing that would also happen in a fairy tale. The issue is both of those are equally likely fairy tale events. Those apples look delicious. If I keep them, I could regain strength later. Oh, they're health items. I'll take a couple. I mean, they've fallen anyway. You know, they're gonna fall into the, they're gonna fall to the ground, you know? They've, like, they've already fallen to the ground. I mean, they're just gonna rot. Whoever that apple tree belongs to would not have gotten those two apples anyway. And this way we get to do a good deed. Hey there, Donko. Actually, I don't like standing in there. I feel like if he starts running, he'll drag us along. So. Hey, Donko. There you go, Mr. Donkey. Eat this apple I've got here. Aww. Donkey loves you. Okay, um, I'm a little nervous. I figured that cane might be a weapon if, say, we were attacked. But what's going to attack us? Probably just bloodthirsty bandits, like Ortega from Yggdra Union. The Cursed Gorge. Is there anything around here that doesn't have a name like that? It's all, it's all hangman's this, accursed that. Oh, what will become of me? What's wrong, sir? Well, I mean, I think I have an idea looking at you here. Hey, are you all right? Help, please help. I've lost everything. All the wares I carried for my lord. Even my donkey has gone away. 
What will become of me? I've seen the donkey down the road. He'll be just scared. My master will punish me anyway. He'll lash me 100 times for not bringing the wares. Perhaps you could strap them to the donkey and resume your journey. You're not hurt, are you? You're a smart kid, but that won't help much. Unless I bring my master some money to make up for the wagon, he'll punish me hard. You're just a kid. I guess you won't spare some coins, will you? I could give him my money, but Mom told me not to waste it. The thing is, it's not a waste if we're helping this guy out. You see, I'm just thinking about those fairy tales. There are a bunch of them where, like, a guy comes across a series of people in trouble, and he helps them all out, pretty much expecting no reward. But then, in the end, they all help him. And this seems like that kind of deal, right? I hope I'm thinking of the right genre here. Think about the stories you've heard, Hans. What would those story guys do? We have three bunches of coins, right? Or is it like we have three coins total? I think it's we have three coins. We're not gonna give him all the coins if we do this, right? Load soul? Can we not save? I guess not. We can apparently load? I guess. I could give you a coin. I'll take two. Thanks. Well, he didn't steal them. We gave him... Well, I guess he stole one coin and we gave him one. That kind of thing happens to me sometimes. Er, no! I wanted to give you one coin. Give me the other one back. Alright, kid. Don't play the rat here, will you? I'll make it up to you another time, buddy. Oh, poor me. Well, whatever. Not surprised this kind of crap's happening to us. You see, kid, it's not fun being an adult, huh? Oh. Here we go. Aw. I'll get you out of there, little guy. See, you're not gonna steal anything, you're just like a goat. I don't have to worry about that from you. You're probably gonna be another one of these, like, animals who'll do me a good deed by and by. Maybe you'll put in a word with me for the forest sp spirit? What's this? All those above 15 shall report to their nearest gendemer, gendarmery. I have never seen that word before and don't know what it means. I am going to look it up. So it's pronounced a gendarmara? Um, gendarmery, I'll just call it that. It's just like a military thing. Aw. I return that animal to his family. Hey, look. It's a shepherd. How you doing there, shepherd, sir? I see you're smoking a pipe. Are you gonna rob me too? Hey, kiddo. What are you doing on the top of the mountain? I'm going in search of fortune. Blimey. That's a big idea. Tell me if you find anything interesting. <laughs> Are you taking care of these goats? My goats take care of themselves. Spend the day smoking and playing the flute. But hey, ain't your parents worried about you? I don't think so. Besides, my dad went to war. Oh, that's bad. Why? Well, let's say they force you to go to war. Don't know anybody who chose to go, so it ain't a great place. Oh, and your mom? Ain't she looking for you? I don't care. I'm angry with her. But at least she gave me some food for the journey. Ouch. Are you alright? You mentioned food and me belly ached. Been all day with me goats and forgot to bring something to eat. Took tobacco and wine, but forgot the most important thing. <laughs> you know, you're gonna be fine. Like, those other guys are really in trouble, but you're just, you know, gonna go back to town for dinner tonight or something, right? What's this? River of the Dead. It is true that guy seems a lot nicer than anyone else we've met, though. Really, everything around here is such a terrible name. Cursed Gorge, River of the Dead. This is probably called, like, 
mountain of doom, right? Oh, it's a graveyard. This is a really old tomb. It's so worn, I can't read the name. Why? Well, I guess because it's so worn. I, oh, I get it. It's just because it's not a maintained graveyard. That kind of thing happens, you know? Eventually, your names just fade off the graves. Oh, darn that bird again. Shoo, Raven. The tomb looks worn. It reads, Joseph Frey. Huh. That's really odd. That name. What? That ain't normal. <sighs> Hans. Wait, what? Are these like the save ravens from Lisa? Save soul. What? Oh, my head. I might have fallen asleep. It's pitch dark and I'm freezing. I should head home. I just need to follow the way back, but it's so dark, I better take this candle with me. Why is there a candle here, though? Take it, yeah. Okay, candle. Oh, God. What the... Ducks? What are you looking at me like that for? Ah, oh, whatever. I'm not gonna give you any bread. Um... Don't mind me! What's happening here? Don't worry about... Okay, what is going on here? Seriously. What the hell? Hans, we should probably not investigate this because the goats are going to kill us. Wait, they didn't eat him? Hey, buddy! You all right? You look pale. You never can trust a goat, can you? Um. Whoa. This has to be a nightmare. Let's get out of here. I don't know what this is, but I do know something. That. Huh? Hello? You're not gonna... I mean, the goat herd seems to be okay with this situation, but I'm not really comfortable about, you know, with this. Oh no, are they chasing us? Don't worry about it, kid. Just get moving. Why is this so slow? Oh shit! No! Oh! Run! Hans, why are you just walking when you should be sprinting, Hans? Come on, Hans! These are not goats I want to deal with. I'm surprised they even gave us as much of a head start as they did. It reminds me of those wolves from, uh, Huntress of the Hollow, you know? Except wolves, I can understand a wolf trying to eat somebody, okay? But a goat? I mean, I know the stereotype is goats eat anything, but I'm pretty sure, you know, that it's normally more like cans and garbage. What are you, you little blue jester man? Look, I'm following the trail, all right? You go off into the woods all you want. I've seen everything I need to tonight. I am out of here. This woods is not a safe place. Oh, <sighs> Okay, this... This woods is a lot worse than I expected. 
Oh, come on! Come on! What is with these goats? This isn't what goats are all about. Goats are not supposed to walk that way. In fact, they're obviously not goats. They're like demons. For some reason, he... That's our doggo, right? Where are you, doggo? Doggo? Whoa, what happened here? Doggo? These are entrails. I feel like throwing up. They skin the dog. Mom, mom, open up. What happened? Are you all right? I need to find out what's happening here. I better follow the kobold. Surely he's involved in all this. Is that what that little blue thing was? A kobold? Okay, so look, I'm pretty sure that the dog is well and completely dead. Look at that. Oh, shut up, Raven. We're gonna have to run past those darn goats again. You really just don't run for anything, do you? Yeah. <sighs> you see, this is the last place I want to go back the way I came to where these darn goats are hanging out. Just keep moving. I can't say just ignore him and he'll go away, because that's not true. He'll... Oh, fuck! No! <sighs> Hans, your journey isn't going very well. Is this what you wanted, Hans? Then again, maybe if we stuck around our house, those goat monsters would have just killed us there, too. Oh, jeez. Don't do that. It went up this way, right? Yeah, past that little bird, even though its eyes are red, too. Ugh. Kobold, where are you? Yeah, you. Oh, into the ruin. This is a, this is great. Follow the, like, fairy monster into the ruin, Hans. Good evening, gracious sire. Welcome. Um, hello. Where am I? You've entered the walls of Tenebra Castle, the fortress of the most illustrious Count Lucanor. I didn't know there was a count living around here. My master's always excelled at discretion. Perhaps you've come to claim my master's legacy. Legacy? My master, Count Lucanor, is a man of great wealth. His domain and influence span hundreds of leagues. However, he is afflicted by a sorrow. His days of youth are far behind, and in all these years he has not had a son to take his place. Thus he has requested me to look for young noblemen who deserve to inherit such a fortune. You mean this Count Lucanor has a lot of money and he's looking for someone to have it? Precisely. So my first thought was, you had arrived with that purpose in mind. Of course. I'm a nobleman from a faraway kingdom. So it's a little vague. Couldn't you say it's just something like Bavaria or, you know, I don't know. I have come to claim the Count's wealth. Take me to him at once. Please. I admire your enthusiasm, sire. But before I take you to my master, I need to make sure you stand for the appropriate values for the role. We would not want vile noblemen, thieves, or ragged children in the throne. Would we, sire? I think he probably knows, Hans. Therefore, you will have to tackle a simple trial. You will need to guess my name. Rumpelstiltskin? What do you say? You will have the night to guess my name. If you are right, I will personally take you to my master, the most illustrious Count Lucanor. I wish you luck in the trial, sire. Now, if you will allow me, I have to leave. I don't think this guy's a normal count, kid. What a blessing. If I guess his name, I'll be rich. Okay, we just need to find a book where he wrote down his name or something like that, right? No goats in here, huh? I already like it better than the forest. 
<sighs> Zowie! The fountain's full of coins! If I were you, I wouldn't reach for those coins. I've seen the raven kill seven foot tall warriors just by pecking. See, you gave me some advice. Truth be told, the raven looks pissed. Leave gold, save soul. What? He's asking you for a coin, boy. If you throw a gold coin into the fountain, he'll save your soul. Save my soul? But what from? Death. Okay, so it costs money, huh? Hey, young one, what are you doing here? I'm after the Count's fortune. Hey, uh, you won't happen to know that blue kobold's name, will you? <laughs> I just came here to sell my wares to those unfortunate souls who dare enter the rooms of the castle. What do you mean? Yeah, I mean, aren't you that guy who... Wait, were you transporting goods for the Count Lucanor? Find it out by yourself. Since we've already met, I can give you this key. I think I've never seen a color key before. What's it for? Oh my, you seem a little bit confused. Haven't you noticed the banners by the doors? Hmm. There are four colors. Blue, green, red, and golden. You need the same color key to open those doors. All right, now I've got the blue key, I can start exploring. Thanks a lot. Wait, kiddo, don't leave in such a rush. Don't you want to see my wares? They might be useful to you. All right, uh, what do you sell? The first one is this golden key. You can use it to enter the rooms upstairs. The key will cost you 10 gold coins. The second item is a sealed envelope with one of the blue coat, with one of his name letters? Oh, I get a letter of his name. The letter will cost you five gold coins. And last but not least, I've got some corn. A handful of corn will cost you three gold coins. Also, as you helped me when we met by the rocks, I want to give you the envelope with the letter. So now we're even. Hey, fairy tale! See? It paid off. Oh wait, is his name gonna be Lucanor? Is the kobold the Count Lucanor? Thanks a lot. I suppose a kobold's a kind of fairy? I'm not entirely sure. On the one hand, I want to save, but on the other hand, I only have one coin. Where am I gonna find more, though? I mean, we're here to get money, but I doubt we're just gonna find it lying around, you know? Any doors around here? It's an ominous suit of armor. Red door. Nope. There a blue door around here? No, it's just another red door. I get these are all doors to the red place. That's, uh, not my favorite kind of place. I really wish we had a weapon. Take the axe. Nah, we couldn't carry it. That axe is like as big as our entire body. Actually, Let's just go back here. It just is so much nicer when everything is not horrible. Oh, treasure. What's this thing? Well, an open. The lock has a three digit combination. Okay, we're gonna need a few digits. Is one of them the letter L? Somehow I doubt it. Um, what else is there around here? Anything? Uh. Does the Count Lucanor really live here? Oh, it's the kobold. Excuse me, sire. I believe you possess at least one of the letters of my name. Will you follow me, sire? I should like to explain to you something you will need to know. I'm not a fan of this castle, I have to say. I mean, I don't doubt that it's expensive, but... Okay, can we light these? Yeah! It's just like when we were in hell with Senua. I presume you have found a letter in the castle. 
Am I right? Yes, you are. What are they for? They are letters hidden in the rooms. You may use them to display my name. Is that so? Every letter you may find will appear in this room. Once you have collected enough letters, you may display my name. Hmm. I see eight places on the floor. So your name consists of eight letters, doesn't it? Let's see. L U C A N O R. No, it's seven letters, so it's not his name. You are indeed perceptive, sire. Therefore, I urge you to continue looking for letters. Once you have collected eight, I will tell you to come back to this room. I wish you luck, sire. Then I should focus on getting those eight letters. Easier said than done, isn't it, kiddo? I have a feeling we're gonna find them, and then that uh, curtain there, they'll open it up and there'll be like a door behind it or something. Then we'll go through there. I have to say, fire is a powerful thing. We should light everything we possibly can while we're down here. Painting? There are four people laughing with a huge treasure next to them. The painting's named the Four Kings. Uh, huh? Why? This is a changing room. Why? Does our candle burn down after a set amount of time? I hope not. Nothing. And... Nothing. Uh, this place sucks. I really don't like this spooky... Oh, wait a minute. Oh! That area wraps around, does it? I see. <sighs> We're probably going to get more coins, right? I guess. Hey, Mr. Raven. There you go, a gold coin. Please, save my soul. I'm gonna regret this, huh? Well, maybe not if I die. If I die, it'll be pretty good that I did this. I haven't noticed anything strange, but I guess this worked. Whatever this is. Somehow I'm gonna think that it's not worth trying to steal any of those coins. I believe it, that raven could kill you. <sighs> oh boy, they're gonna be monsters chasing us around in here, right? Great. Great! Just what I needed! Okay. <sighs> Lucanor, I'm not a fan of this place. Where's that old woman? Anyway, we're looking for, like, a green door. No, a blue door, right? Yeah, we got blue. Another hiding spot for a really dumb monster, I, I suppose. Red. Ah. Uh. Am I... I mean, there's gonna be monsters. Come on, this castle belongs to a kobold. Green. Yellow. Blue. Wait, blue! That. Why is that open? Anyway, blue! Oh, pushing block puzzle? Is that what this is? I mean, I guess. Oh. There are only so many ways we can push him, huh? Oh. Uh, we're a bit stuck, it seems. I know where I want to go, but we can't push him into the pit here for some reason. What about in here? Yeah. Oh, just dripping water. Nothing to be afraid of. We'll be fine. We're fine! Oh god, we're not fine. I'm not that self-conceited, but I'm taking it anyway. Yeah, I mean, a mirror is like a fairy tale item that you're going to use. You're not going to comment on the human bones? Yeah, I get you. You're like, I get what you're like, Hans. You're just here. 
I mean, we know why you're here. You're looking for money. There's something blocking the exit from the other end. One of those crates, huh? Probably? My god, I wish there'd just be a monster. At least then I'd be like, okay, I know what I have to deal with. As it stands here, I don't know what I have to deal with. Got no idea. Hmm. Oh, that's what they're for. That could be useful later, but I wish I hadn't done that. Oh, I can pick it back up? Yeah. Okay, good. Are there any other blue doors around here? Because we're not going to get any progress with this, you know? Let's see. Oh, here's another blue door. What do we got? Oh, God. Oh, I see. The floor is covered in traps. Watch your step. Let's not end up like that guy who was here before. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking this count. Not a good guy. It's nice to have the light, but all it does is make it clear how much darker everything else is in comparison. Food's great to regain strength. I just need to open my inventory and eat. Okay. Hmm. Frankly, we should probably eat something. Um, what do we eat, huh? Use it. Oh, I see. We have to do that. Okay, let's uh, go back to not navigating around the spike traps that kill you with death. Don't step on him, kiddo. Okay? What the? What's this? Coins! Oh, we're like Wario again. Oh! This looks nice? Hey, we got a letter. We're hearing that whole musical thing again. Oh, wait a minute. Now, is the thing going to, like, kill us? Is it going to chase us? Zowie! What a catchphrase. One of the kobolds' name letters. <sighs> this place sucks. What a terrible... How do you keep it up morale like that, kid? You know what I think of this place? I think it's not a good place. Like, Castle... I don't want to disrespect you. You know, you're doing your best. You're you're not a bad like with a bit of bit of work. You know, it could be an okay. We're not going to get across that. This hole isn't that big. If I had a piece of wood. I could make a bridge to get to the other side, or to the chest, which is on the other side. <sighs> Somebody died here recently. You see that? That was recent. Another letter, another coin. Ugh. Ugh. Now, with those goats, you could hear them, right? I figure if there's a monster around, we'll be aware of it. You know? It won't be like, oh, th is there a monster here? And it would just it'd be so much better if I just had some kind of weapon. Ugh. I mean, they're all red. We need another blue door, and I think... Are there, like, two doors of each color? Is that what... Is that the kind of thing this is? I guess? What happened to that swine herd? Oh, boy. I'm just thinking, listen to this music, how much more relaxing it was when we were just helping out people on the forest road. Instead of being in this place. I guess the goal is to leave this place by getting all lots of money. I can get behind that. This will just lead to where there's like gold, like blue doors. Or there's, I mean not blue. This is where like the gold doors are, right? We're not going to really find much places to go up here. That's already lit. 
Wait a minute. I guess that door is blue. Who's this? Luke and R. A portrait of a girl. She's my age. And it's odd because her face looks like really familiar. There's a name written. It reads Lucrezia. Whoa. That's scary. That shriek came straight from the depths of the castle. Ha. Ah. Great. This door isn't blue, though. Yeah, yeah, I figured it was a gold thing. Like, they're the yellow banners next to it, you know? So, yeah, this castle ain't normal. That's what I'm taking away. Crawl. We can't hide very well under this. And like that one. Yeah, we're not gonna... We're gonna need that key from that guy to get to these upstairs doors. Right? Right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, we can hide under these tables, okay. The camera is always moving a little bit, you know? Like, even after you move, the camera keeps moving for a little while. So that's upstairs. I feel like I'm kind of beginning to map out this joint. I just feel like a little more comfortable when I'm like crawling. And in here is where those letters of the name are, huh? Open! Yeah. Lih. So it's not Lucanor. Assuming, well, it must be, right? The name will be all eight names, well, all, all eight letters. And it's not Lucanor, and you know what else? Oh, is it like Lucrezia? How many letters is that? L, U, C, R, E, Z, I forget, I'll count later. Oh, I hate the dark. I mean, I don't hate the dark. I, it's, you shouldn't hate things, but I am scared of the dark. <sighs> Wait a minute. This thing blocking the exit at the other end. Is that like... Just a vent? Is that what it is? Is it a vent on the other side of this door? Crawl, 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 crawl. I, no, I guess not. Uh, oh, a woman. He hello? Are you here for the fortune too? Hey. <laughs> Julia. Ah, 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 screams. Please don't kill me, you monster disguised as a kid. I'm no monster. I'm a kid. A normal kid, I mean. Ah, all right then. What a shock. I didn't hear you come. You're really good at stealth. Excuse me, the name's Julia. Hi, I'm Hans. What are you doing in this castle, Hans? I'm after Count Lucanor's fortune. Hum, that makes us two. Are you also trying to guess the kobold's name? You mean that blue critter? No way, I'm on my own. I have no intent of becoming a countess. I just want the treasure. Huh. That seems like a good way to get the kobold to kill you or something. Well, I'm a treasure hunter after all. Oh, you're Wario. Are you? I travel from town to town gathering information on treasures. But it's no easy job. There are a lot of dangers. Seven-eyed evil monsters, coal black creatures from hell, blood-stained spawns, gruesome curses, atrocious traps which would take your guts out. So, I have to be really careful. Zowie! That's, yeah, that's your catchphrase, Hans. I'd love being a treasure hunter like you. Going on adventures and fighting monsters. I can give you some tips if you want. Yes, please. I'd love to learn from you. All right, then. I have a gift for you. It's the most important tool for a treasure hunter. Candles? I thought you'd give me a sword or something to guard me from the monsters. What a bummer. A treasure hunter is no warrior and no soldier. We don't fight, we hide. We're not reckless, we're thoughtful. A good treasure hunter gets the biggest loot while minimizing risks. It's, I agree, but the thing is, we're in this castle. We're not minimizing risks. Well, then again, I guess if we were outside, goats would have probably killed us by now. Hum. 
I think I understand. But what do I need so many candles for? I can see quite well if I have one in my hand. You're going to be in this castle for a long time. Just imagine you come back here later, and there's a terrifying monster at the corner of the corridor in complete darkness. If you only carry a candle in your hand, you won't see it until it tries to bite your neck. But, if you light the area in advance, you'll see it from afar. You can place candles on the ground whenever you want. But what if I place them and leave? Won't they run out? They can last for many days, don't worry about that. If you place a candle, it'll stay unless you remove it. So they're great to mark places and guide you. Well, thing is, Julia, Julia, Gaidia, won't, won't we mix up our candles? I mean, they're like the same candles. Look, I think it's best you put this into practice. All right. If you, do you see this corridor full of doors? You can go for a walk and place five candles in those places you think most convenient, but do not place them all together or they would be useless. Fair enough, I like you. Finally, a friendly face who isn't like somebody who's like, what are you, five places, huh? Maybe one there. They get brighter when you put them down. It's kind of odd though, I mean, we put that right in front of a blue door, which I don't think we've gone through yet, so I know where we're going next, but where are we? Not sure. I mean, we got a lot of candles, but really, where are we? Relative to where we started, we're, okay, I know where we are then. She said to put down five, and I know I think that's just an arbitrary number, she said, but hey, I can get behind that. Maybe she's doing that because she knows that it will help her in the long run if there are candles down. This is a sewer, but I'm not strong enough to remove the grate. Anyway, I guess it's nice to have some light around here. But she's going all about terrifying creatures and all that. Can we just, like, not? Come on, guys. Do we really need to? <sighs> Count Lucanor. If this is where you live, like, is it really worth it? Trying to take your place here or whatever? Is that really a thing worth doing? Some people might say, yeah, totally. Now I say, nah. I say, come on guys. That's what I say. Anyhow. Oh, I think we walked by where she was before. Oh, Gaidia is gone now. Her name's similar to, like, Gaidia. I mean, you know. Light! Light! Okay, what's this? It's a chest in a cage. And a broken ladder, huh? Ladder is broken. Can't reach it. And the problem with this chest is those bars won't let me get to the chest. There has to be some sort of device to lift them. Why would there have to be? It just doesn't seem like the thing you'd say, like, well, of course, there's a... I mean, no, there's not. What are we gonna do? Is there something this way? Yeah, I thought it was just the courtyard. What? Is that a human pig? Hey kid, my name's Eisbein. Hi, I'm Hans. Don't give me that look. I'm an ordinary man. But an evil witch turned me into a pig. Whenever I come to the castle, I regain my human shape. I believe I could make a great new Count Lucanor, don't you think? Huh... Well, maybe... I'm trying to guess the kobold's name, too. Have you met him? The bluish creature? Of course I've met him. He's my friend. But I don't know his name. Nobody does. But I can tell you, all letters in the castle are fake. Fake? Yep, it's all a trick. You have no chance. 
There's no way to win. And he laughs. Do I believe the naked pig man who stands around eating with his face on all fours and farting? I don't know. Hello, little man. So you were an cruel-hearted witch, huh? Hello, lady. What are you doing here? The castle in just... The castle in... Oh, is just on the way to the village. And sometimes we come here to rest for the night. My son really likes the place. Your son? Do you remember the pig I had with me? He's actually my son, Eisbein. A spell turned him into a pig many years ago. The fool tried to court a witch. Oh, I see. Well, I mean, if I'm to believe you. You're here for those count trials, aren't you? Then please have this green key, boy. You'll need it to open more doors in the castle. Radical. I'd like to thank you for giving me your precious cane. I've got a gift for you. This magic ring. Whoa, thanks a lot. It's really old. It used to belong to a very powerful witch. It's used to expose falsehood and lies. If you put it on, fake objects and imitations will shine in red. Lady, you won't happen to know the blue kobold's name, will you? Oh boy, I wish I knew. But I've been told the map in the fountain is a clue to guess it. Map? In the fountain there's a map? What are you talking about? Oh. This is telling us some of the uh, letters of the name, right? Or like their order, I mean. So, I'm not sure. Let's see, I think we got two, R right? Um. And each one of those, like, lines indicates a door? Uh, anyway, how many coins? Oh, God, just one? I'm almost- I don't want to. I feel like I'm gonna regret it. Oh, well. I wanna say- You see, I shouldn't have used that first coin! <sighs> hey, Mr. Raven. There you go, a gold coin. Please save my soul. Oh, boy. We are in for it. Last time I saw a guy who was using ravens to save his progress, it wasn't so good. Oh boy, where are the candles? Well, they're our, you know, main item. Oh boy. Well, we have a green key. Where were the green doors? I don't honestly clearly remember. I don't want to deal with monsters. I'm not a fan. You know, call me crazy. Oh, here's a green door. Hello? I hear something. It's a terrifying monster, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's just you. Hey, Julia. How'd you get in? Oh, I guess there must be more than one of each key color. <laughs> this is gonna be a running thing, isn't it? Who? it's you, Hans. You scared the hell out of me. According to these books, the castle is crowded with evil creatures, infamous underworld beings, hateful, ethereal entities. Shadows lurking in the corners, treacherous specimens? So, you have to be really careful, Hans. I'll have my eyes peeled. Oh well. There's someone interesting, too. A soldier named JF, who's left messages with important clues throughout the castle. You should pay attention to his writings. By the way, have you placed the candles as I told you? Yes, I've placed some. Alright then. So we can say, you're a... apprentice treasure hunter. Have some more. Thanks! Thanks, Julia! Hey, if you're planning to explore this maze, you better play some. Otherwise, you'll be walking in circles like a fool. 
Good idea. Is there going to be like a minotaur in this maze? Is that what this is? Because you could you, I heard a thing like breathing, right? And look at this. That's obviously going to kill you if you just walk straight through there. What's this thing though? This looks like the place for a lever, but the stick is missing. I don't have anything to activate it. Perhaps there's another way to get to the chest. Hmm, I suppose by taking the path up this way. <sighs> yeah. That's what we gotta do. Right? Um... Nah, it's not just gonna be- Oh! Money? Nah, just candles. Candles? Who needs those things? That's obviously a trap by the wall. How do you keep your cool through all this, just being in here on your own? We could have waited during- till the day, you know? If you- if, whatever. It's probably still dark in here during the day anyway, let's not kid, kid ourselves. Um, hmm. No, we're not going to be able to get anywhere that way either, huh? I guess the question is, is there another way to get to that treasure chest? Oh, I know. This thing, right? Maybe there's something here that's not real. No. No, there's... It's, it's real. But you know what might not be real? The second trap that's up here. Uh, this one. One way to find out. No. It's real. Yeah, you hear that noise? There's like a thing up there, right? <sighs> okay. Let's just find another room with a green... Another green room. Right? That's how we get out of here, huh? Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Oh god, the monsters are coming out now, right? What's that sound? It comes from the gardens. I'd rather go and look. You rather? Don't you mean you should? It's time. Time for what? Oh, will you excuse my coarseness, sire? Every night at three o'clock, the servants of the Count leave their chambers to start their duty. You know what they say. Bureaucracy is the lifeblood of any government. I guess you will be familiar with these sort of palace work, sire. Is that not so? Uh, yes it is. It is, indeed. In the kingdom I come from, serpents are really important for things. <laughs> yeah, the kobolds embarrass for us. Anyway, I beg you to use discretion, sire. These servants are particularly hot-tempered. Are they dangerous? If you're going to walk through the castle, I suggest you find a hiding place before they see you, sire. Oh boy, how you holding up there, man? Do you like corn? Sure, my mother cooks it in the pot. Both pigs and men eat the same thing. We can eat anything. Herbs, fruit, fish, human flesh. But what I like most is raw corn. You are a singularly degraded man. Have you ever stolen anything, Giddo? No. Well, yeah, I stole once some candy from the store. So you're a thief. I should tell the castle guards so they take you prisoner. Please don't tell them. All right, I won't tell anyone. That'll be our little secret. When I was your age, I used to raid the tombs with my father. The best thing was to find the golden teeth those filthy rich men had. <laughs> Yeah, they don't need them when they're dead. And you're asleep. 
Excuse me, lady, are you sl- Well, no, she was. Eh? Ah, uh, no, I'm not. I was just focusing on my thoughts. Do you know anything about some servants? Oh my. Boy, those servants give me the creeps. Be really careful with them, especially with their boss. Do they have a boss? They call him the Red Camerlingo. He's usually in the library, but sometimes he also patrols the castle. Is he mean? They're all mean, little man. But the Red Camerlingo is small-minded and lethal. If he sees you, you're dead. There's no way to escape. Zowie! God, you always say that. And there isn't a way to finish them? They're like ghosts. You can't kill them. You better see them from afar and hide. I hope you've placed candles in the castle, boy. Otherwise, you better start now. Okay. What choice do we have? So that's what the servants look like, huh? My favorite. Scary guys in masks. Uh, I guess they're only in the corridors, right? Are they gonna be in the actual, like, rooms that we go into? I don't know. You know, they said they came out of their chambers. Where are their chambers? Died. Let's just stand here maybe till one of them passes us by so we can be sure, you know, that they're gonna- wh where, where they are. We'll know that they've, like, passed us. I think I can hear them, right? That's what that sort of whispering is. You hear that? Huh. <sighs> I feel like I just heard something. Oh no, that was just like my headphones. Cause something touched the wire, specifically my hand. So this is what we're uh, doing, huh? I guess, how wide is their patrol? Do they go around this entire place or do they say, walk around in a certain smaller section? Oh, here come, here it comes. I think there's probably only one currently out in here. He's a skull man. Eh? I see, they do make noise so we can be aware of them. I guess my question is, are they like more dangerous than um, the, d the giant goats? Than like the goat men? Okay, I just need to figure out where the other green doors are. If I... I should have been paying attention to this, man. Darn it! Well, I wasn't. Let's see. Here's one. Huh! This place is not a very nice room. If I may say so. If you think... I mean, I know it's a pretty crazy thing for me to say, isn't it? That this room isn't a nice room! Coins! Oh no. It's a goat. There's a note. I had been warned about the fire room, but not enough. No one should enter this place without saving their soul in the fountain. Signed by JF. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll go and do that, honestly. Problem with that, you know, is... Okay, don't the... Are the floors periodically 100% like on fire? No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like they do follow this very predictable pattern. Hmm. Okay. I just hate to... Hi. So you guys are here too now, huh? Hey, kiddo! Hey, why the face? Uh, 
your body. You don't have a body. What do you mean? Ah, uh, well, lost some pounds, but gained quality of life, ain't it so? <laughs> and how do you move? My goats take me around. Don't need to do anything. And how do you guide them? Goats guide themselves, boy. Come to the castle to look for you. Wanted to give you this. Take this key from my mouth. Serve you to keep exploring the castle rooms. Thanks a lot. Hey, me goats and me have a useful tool. But as you didn't want to share your cheese this afternoon, we decided we won't give it to you. Sorry, buddy, but so's life. Now hard feelings, huh? I see. We should have just helped all of them. I should have known. I should have. <sighs> we have two coins. We'll save them the next time we get a bunch of letters, how about? Right? Oh, this place is not a safe place. All this time I've been creeped out and I shouldn't have been. I was mistaken. Now is when it's time to start being worried. But let's just take this one room at a time. Let's look around the fire room. Shall we? I say we shall. Okay, so this knight who was in here before, right? Wait, all this happened after we looked at that grave and, like, the raven attacked us, right? What's up with that? Why did that happen? Right? Like, that's a thing that happened. Why? Why did that happen here? Is there... We had a weird response to that. I thought maybe it was our dad's name? It can't be our name. We're named it's Hans, right? Well, Hans is short for something, though, isn't it? Okay, here the pattern's a bit more complex. I'm gonna need to pay attention, huh? Fine, I can pay attention. Oh, God! Okay. Oh, God! Why was it that gory? Like, being on fire won't cause your guts to spill out. Wait, continue? How could I continue? I guess I'm not exactly continuing, am I? Okay, fine. So we have a red key now. Let's just find a red door or a green door. Zowie! The donkey from the woods! But look at that horn! Perhaps he's become a donkey corn! Donkey corn? Hey, Mr. Donkey, how come you're here? Looks hungry. We even need food? Yeah. Oh. Aw. I'm sorry, Mr. Donkey Corn. I ain't got no apples for you. I ate them. Oh, God! Mm. It's a good thing I put that candle there. There he goes. He's walking back the other way, huh? What happens if he did see me? Look at all these levers. Huh. You know, I'm not a big fan of the look of this room. I'll pick up those candles once I've, like, fiddled with these some. I just want to make sure I have a view of the room, you know? Okay, so these are gonna open different, uh, doors. What the? Why would I move that? Anyway, there's something in here, right? <gasps> there's a note. It reads, candles are a must. I needed to learn more about those four kings anyway. Otherwise, I'll lose my mind trying combinations signed by JF. Oh yeah, there's that portrait of the four kings, right? Somehow I don't want to open that one that's just full of blood. Three candles. Nothing in that, those drawers. What about these? No, nothing there either. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder why the servants don't snuff out the candles when they walk by. In any case, we got something for our donkey friend. Hey, donkey friend. Have an apple, Mr. Donkey. He just pooped gold! Worth it. No, the gold! Yeah. All right. I never thought I'd be this excited about just two coins. Huh. Is that servant around here? Psst! You're ugly in smell. <laughs> Eisbein? Is that you? How did you recognize me? <laughs> but what are you doing here? That wicked mother of mine is stressing me, all right? I just had enough of her. <laughs> Darn mothers. Yeah, my mom can stress me sometimes, but she's usually nice to me. Eating her eyes would be nice. <laughs> kind of creeping me out, my friend. Can I, like, crawl under there with you? No. Oh, fuck! This is the library! Yeah, it's the library. This is where that one guy they told us to watch out for hangs out. Oh, God! There's no good way out of this situation. Hide. I hear, like, footsteps. Is that this red guy they said to watch out for? I figure by now that guy outside will have left. Right? He's still walking around out there, right? I think. Oh, fuck! No, 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 no! Okay, get away from- get away! I- there's not room under that table with the pig guy there. <sighs> At least we have an idea of where the servant is. My foolish son likes to go around as if he was still a normal person. Don't you love your son? He was already a pig way before he literally turned into one. He deserves everything that's coming to him. Huh. But does he? You holding up okay? Hey boy, these gardens look boring. I could tell me friends to organize a party. What type of party? A grotesque party! <laughs> Maybe another time. The characters are sort of wacky, but what's going on here is not. <laughs> okay. Candle here. That door is marked one. And is a terrifying monster down here? No! Into this room we go. Oh, it's just this room again. Well, this isn't really going to help us, is it? I see our friend's not hanging out in here anymore, is she? Nope. But she left her candle here. Which is very nice of her. I don't see any way to progress in here that isn't going to be a trap. Unless this one is the illusion. No. No, it's just not. This is not the illusion. Anyhow, there's nowhere in here to hide. Still, though, the dark does make me uneasy. Uh, I'm just never a fan of the dark. We have all these lever parts, though. If we could just pull that thing, you know? Problem solved. I should put a candle right here. What's in here? Hmm. This room looks good, but that means that it's too good to be true. 
Is there... What is there in here? You just know that these... This is probably going to be a case where, like, one of them is going to have a thing I want in it, and the rest of them are going to be, like, demons. Oh, fuck! I apologize. I was just very startled. Uh, continue. Okay, move. We got to get out of here. That's the head of the servants who just walked in, right? Oh, fuck! Crawl! Ah. Ah, I hate this castle. This is Count Lucanor. How rich can he be if his house is this terrible? Maybe he just likes living in places that are bad. Are you, uh, not gonna walk up this way? I guess we just have to go through the chests in that room one by one, huh? I wish I had been doing- I guess it's confirmed now, though, that these guys are going to, like, walk into rooms. But I guess this means- are there just two servants? I mean, I think, right? There's, like, the servant- There's the le- OH SHOO! They're sucking you in is what he does when he, like, glows like that. Why'd I do that? Take it back. Get out of here. Go in here. He's going. He's gonna just chase us in here, isn't he? I mean, there's nowhere to hide in here. Unless you can back here. Oh, so there is a door. Yeah. Where? This isn't good. Wait, does he not chase us in here? Good. Great. That's what I want. I don't want him to chase me. He's still out here, though. Just don't let him see you, and we'll be fine. A, you know, out of sight, out of mind. Huh. I know why we could have bought that corn, right? We could lure the pig man out if we bought the corn. We get him to go back to the courtyard or something. So there are only a few sort of puzzles I haven't figured out yet. I mean, they're quite a few. They're more than a few. One thing I need to do is figure out where that painting of the four kings was. And this one is just a timing puzzle. Ugh. Not even really pu oh, puzzle. They're just muttering to themselves all the time, these guys. Could you, like, go? Please? Do you know we're here? Well, obviously he doesn't. If he did, he'd be, you know, trying to suck us in. Okay. We are not doing well. We only have two letters. What, you're back? You know why the goat herd has only his head left? I thought the goats had cut it. Don't be stupid. The goats are good to him, don't you see? He's only got his head left because he doesn't think things twice. He's a scatterbrain. And that's why his head fell. <laughs> if you say so. Seems a little implausible. Are you friends with that merchant? I've met him this afternoon. Why do you ask? You should be careful. He's a thief and a liar, and he kidnaps children to sell them as slaves. Zowie! Thanks for the tip. I'll be careful. I don't really trust a single one of you guys. We have to just deal with some of this stuff, don't we? Like the library. Fake. Oh, Jesus! No! I thought that guy was supposed to definitely for sure kill us. Is he gonna follow us out here? I guess not. But we- he's not- is he not gonna leave this room? The problem is, after you look at something, it doesn't instantly respond. <sighs> you can't hide from him, really? I 
Is he just saying that because he thinks we're under the table, but he doesn't know for sure, and is like, hey, are you under the table? I want to lure you out. Oh, boy. You know, I don't like that guy. Why, why do we expect a kobold to give us a fair deal? I certainly don't expect that to happen. But how can we even... What are we supposed to do? You know, he knows... We're gonna have to do this. It's gonna take forever. That red whatever. Oh. This is gonna take such a long time. And we gotta deal with the creepy, bloody red guy. I have to say, at first I thought, oh, he's honestly a little bit cute compared to the normal servants. But then you see his face and you think, ah, I spoke too soon. Actually, I guess it means he's not in the library, right? Was this the library? Yeah. I still hear him, though. And I think. You can just take a ladder? You're gonna carry a whole ladder? Well, I guess this is good. It means we can climb up in that room we couldn't climb up in. But listen, there's definitely someone in here. Who is it? Is it the red whatever? Hope it's not red. I hope there aren't two of him. But listen, there's clearly someone in here. You can hear them. And they're getting closer. I think? I think he's getting closer. It's kind of hard to tell. You know, they sort of whisper in all directions all the time. Oh, he went in here, right? No? Okay, we'll deal with the library later. I guess it just goes to show how you can learn to... Oh! No, 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 no! You don't know to look under the... T like, I know that I was in front of him and he should know. Does he, though? He's crawling around the table. He's not leaving. Okay, he is leaving. Wish he was leaving the other way. Okay. Probably is the red whatever, you know, the red so-and-so is over here, ain't he? Well, yeah, I know he is. I'm not asking the question because I need it answered. Is there some way to deal with him? I don't know. Let's just figure out that where that room was that had the, uh, the big chest in it. But it was somewhere over here, wasn't it? Why is he guarding the door like that? Is he like waiting? Is there is his buddy in there? Is that like a, the bathroom and his friends like, you know? Oh, oh, there are two of them. Okay, yeah, this was the room where we wanted to be. Ladder. This will take me up. Yep, put the ladder there. Okay, good. Candles again, and let's get to climb. Money? No. Just some food. Oh, wait. A missive. I've got a lot of letters. Soon I'll be able to prove the Count, or to the Count, I'm worthy of his daughter Lucrezia. Signed by JF. So JF was somebody who was in here trying to um, impress the Count's daughter, huh? Clearly. Treasure? This is already a lot more intense than anything that, uh... Wario's done, huh? Yay! One of the kobolds' name letters. They're just so cheery. Are you, like, not paying attention? Zowie. Oh, no! He's clearly paying attention, or else that guy would have killed him. Not necessarily. But... When we've gotten away every time they've seen us so far. The thing is with those masks of theirs... They, like, suck you in with that satanic magic spell, then they slide off the masks and tendrils come forth to, you know, grab us. So where was that painting of the Four Kings? We need that for the Four Kings puzzle. Right? Yeah, I think so. Look, I need to approach this in a systematic manner. So far, I've just been hopping from room to room randomly. I should do them in a sort of pattern. So we got it, we cleared that room, right? 
How many coins we... We cleared that room. So let's go to the next room. Right? Yeah. Oh, problem is the next room is a fire room, isn't it? Okay, fine. Yeah, take your coin. I got a letter. Eight letters. I have five more letters to get. On the plus side, I feel like I've already explored almost this entire castle. But on the other hand... No! On the other hand, I feel like this castle sucks and is bad. I wouldn't want to spend a day in this castle. But to that count, this is home. That's odd. I don't recall having placed those three candles. It's because you didn't. Somebody go out this way. Oh, hey, it's you. How you doing? It's nice to have a friendly face. Hey, Hans. Why are you standing there? Aren't you scared? I'm a seasoned treasure hunter. I'm not scared that easily. Oh, excuse me. I've seen the candles outside, so I thought it could be you. What are you doing here? Things look really difficult now. Those servants are everywhere. I've decided to go to a safe place to study the information I've gathered. Have you collected any clues on the kobold or the treasure? You read things that occurred in this castle. You wouldn't imagine, Hans. Just by saying this, my blood runs cold. I get goosebumps, I break out in a cold sweat, I have my heart in my mouth. Well, I don't want to frighten you. According to my readings, the treasure is related to Lucrezia, the Count's daughter, and... And? Are you stopping there? It's so terrifying, so insidiously vicious, such a heartless abomination, such a wicked monstrosity, that... All right, all right, all right, you better not tell me. Changing the subject, are you making any progress in your exploration of the castle? I've been trying to many rooms. No, I've been to many rooms, but I don't have the eight letters yet. Hum, I've collected some information. It might come in handy, but I still need to sort some of it out. What if you pay me a visit when you've collected all eight letters? All right. Are you conning us? That's a classic Wario move, and he's the model treasure hunter that we all... <laughs> he's the ideal. Let's not joke around here. No, take it. Duh. Oh, wait, this is the room we don't want to be in right now. So, we just need to get some more letters, right? Is there any letters this way? I mean, it's nice to know. I'm beginning to have a sense of, like, how far ahead of them these guys can see. Now, this is too close. That's a waste of candles putting it. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! What's this room? I can still hear him in here, is the problem. You know? I can still hear him. And there's a lot of blood. It's not a good sign. What? What just happened? Um. Eat these. Eat a few. Is the blood a trap? I guess. I definitely can hear them. Oh no! No. What just happened? What? Continue, I guess? What was that? Really, what happened there? That's not a room we've been in yet. Oh no. So this means we have to go through that dialogue again? I like this game okay, but I don't like if you have to go through the dialogue again like that. You can't, like, you should be able to do it again if you want. Okay, what are we supposed to do in this room? Do we have to just theorize where they are by the sounds? I guess? Huh. What's this? What did that do? Did it do anything? What? 
Okay. What was that? It sounded like a trap? Are there just random traps in here? This lever won't move anywhere. Or anymore. Great. So, is what I'm... Oh, it's showing me where all the traps are. That's actually really good. Oh! It's a friend. I'm being sarcastic, of course. He's not our friend. And in fact, I wish he was not in here. I really wish he was not in here. Like, a lot. I really wish that. What's this? Apple? There's a missive. There should be some mechanism to make visible the... Okay, I know. I, I already found the mechanism in this case. Ow! No. No! Okay. Okay! Don't take the... Yeah, take it back. Don't leave the candles there. Is there even anything in here? That oh, no! I know it sounded like the scary servant thing said, Yes! He, but, uh, I'm not... I don't think he was answering. Oh, I see. We have to light all the torches to get all the vertices of that shape there, right? Yeah, okay, that's what we gotta do. It's one of these. Open! Gold coins, great. I love them. Open this one too, we need everything we can get. I like how we can still get the contents from them even when he's like a few feet away. I'd like to, well what it really is, is he's grabbing them and sort of running, but we um, put him in there, good. Oh God, where is the other ones? I know there are more. Where are they? The other cups. They're not really cups, they're like torch pits, I understand. Ah, uh, this place, this is a terrible castle. Why? The Count must act, I don't think the Count's rich. Like, this is a big building, and he has servants, but come on. If, if you were rich, you wouldn't live in this place, now would ya? No, ya wouldn't. You wouldn't, I mean, not ya. Ya, it's not really a... Okay. Now what? <sighs> it's easy. Problem is that guy's near. Oh wait, um. Probably just eat this. Okay. No, 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 no! Run, run. Problem is we need to get him. He needs to be away from the chest, and we got. We gotta be able to get back. Our <sighs> candle. No, we might need that again. Eat these though. These are fine. I like these. No, 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 no! We have to do it again. <sighs> we do have to do it again, right? It's like completely, yeah. That's completely undone. I have to say, I've sort of stopped liking this game now. I don't like doing things again. At least we know what we need to do, so it won't be as bad. It's generally... what? It's generally wise to just avoid where... So actually, now that I think about it, before... Maybe what's going on here is that guard is in here, we just can't see him right now, right? No, take it. Light it. There you go. Ow! Uh, I hate that. No, don't equip the bread. Eat the bread and equip this. All right, now this is what we want, is this one. What? I guess that was my bad. I should have been more careful there. That's what really goes wrong with most of these, I feel like. Um, what else? There is one here. Yeah. One there. And I saw the uh, guard moving. There he is. He sees us. The key is to not be in front of them. They don't seem to, like, persistently... They do chase you, but it's not like... No! 
<sighs> okay. The problem is, this really isn't interesting me enough that I want to keep going that much. I just think it's kind of frustrating and tedious. Not as much as Yggdra Union, but... In any case, um... I guess what's going on... Actually, Yggdra Union. I think there are any castles like this in Phantasinia. Are we in Phantasinia? Maybe. Um, don't step on that. Pull this lever. Now we see the traps. And that's good. That's what we want to do. Now you pull this one and we see the... No. The torches. Well, yes, we do see the torches, but no, as in you shouldn't put the candle down there. That's not what we want to do. And this one? <sighs> I'm just not a fan of, uh... His room. I think if it really came down to it, if I had to choose between not being in this room ever again and being in this room again, I know what I'd choose. And I like that we're able to open it from the side like that and avoid trouble. And this is where we see the letter, right? I oh, know this is where we get the apple and the missive from JF. Oh, wait, no, JF! That's, uh, that's the grave we were at, right? So this place is the home of JF. Is that what I'm getting? I think. So, what I'm wondering about is, I'm not even noticing any troubles with this guy when he's invisible. So maybe the problem isn't actually that he's invisible, but that that lever I just pulled, like, makes him appear in here. So next time, you know what I'm not gonna do? I am not gonna pull that lever. Absolutely I'm not. That lever can go to hell. I thought he was in here otherwise, and this is just enabling us to see him so we're less likely to die. But what I'm seeing now is that I don't think that's what's the case. Well, I'm not really seeing much of anything. This room is so dark. Uh, except for where we've lit the torches. But that's why we're here. To light torches. The thing is, you can hear him, though, even before you can see him. But if... But in that case, he would have caused us trouble even once, you know? Ah... Uh, I guess I've just been assuming you need to pull all the levers. But really, I guess one of them doesn't do anything but put us in trouble. It summons one of the servants. Maybe if you were the lord of this manor, that would be useful. But let me tell you something. I'm not the lord of this manor. I am really, really not the lord of this manor. Open it up! No! Wait, there's a small note. If you're reading this, you're wrong form a fool. Oink. Okay. Okay, Pigman. You did all this, Pigman? You did all this? Pigman, you actually are finding treasures, huh? I mean, I knew that you you said you wanted to be one of the people in charge here. Hey, Piggo. Where are you even carrying it? Hey, do you have one of the name letters? No. I'm telling you, because one of the letters is missing and I need it. You need it, huh? Then try and guess where in my body I'm hiding it. In the butt! <laughs> That's nasty. You're such a pig, Eisbein. If you want it, I can give it to you in exchange for a favor. Come closer and I'll whisper in your ear. He'll, like, bite your ear off. Tell me. Kill my mother. What? You've heard me. If you want the letter, you'll have to do that. <sniffs> but she's your mother. Yeah, she is. She's my mother, but she's also a witch. She was the one who turned me into a pig. I want her dead. Uh, uh, <sighs> I hate all of you people. You're just a bunch of brutes. Oh my god. I can't... I can't kill her. What's this? This is coin. This is corn. 
Okay, it's corn. Oh, wait a minute. If we buy the corn and feed it to him, then it'll fart and it'll come out, right? We don't have the coins for it, though. In any case, we're not gonna kill that woman. <sighs> I wish I had more coins. I really wish- Where is that painting, also? That looks like it should be a comparatively simple challenge. There it is. It's been right here by the number one door all along. Now that I look closer, there are four kings. The first and the second are smiling. The third one looks angry, and the fourth one... I better write this down, so... Um... First... One, two, smile, I'll say. Uh... Three is... Angry. And the fourth one... Four is happy. Well, how is the fourth one different from the smiling ones? So... Like, if the first and second are smiling, what you really mean is the third one is angry, but one, two, and four are smiling, right? King one and the second are smiling. Third one is angry, and the fourth one is also happy. Okay. I just need to go to the king chamber. Where was it? I have not been paying good enough attention to which rooms are which. I'm just gonna have to, like, go in and out guessing. Till I find the room I am looking for, huh? No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Oh, this is the room. Okay. One, two are happy. Three is angry. I bet you if that means it's something three is gonna hurt me, right? So one, two, three. Wait, what? Shouldn't there be four kings? Yeah, I mean, there are four kings, but there are only three doors. What am I gonna do here? What is this? This is just like bones in a cage, right? I think so. Yeah, it is, just bones in a cage. But why is this even in here? I just have a feeling if I open that one, there's gonna be something bad. So the only one that's angry is the third one. And, huh. Like, what does this lever do? Does it make him smile? Oh, it does. So it makes the one on the left of it, on the right of it, I mean, smile. And four is happy. Three is not happy. So we won't open that one. But this one... Huh? No, 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 no! <sighs> he does know we're here. They, do, they can't bend down is the odd thing about these specters. How much is this key again? Ten. Man, is this a torturous thing we're going through. Okay, first things first. I don't really know what I'm doing here. So I'm just looking at a walkthrough for this puzzle. It doesn't make any sense to me. That one. That one. That one. That one. Next. Right to left, they say I should change it according to the walkthrough. Right to left, right to left. So this is, so put this one up. Now, wait a minute. Can I, like, walk in here? Oh! This significantly affects my understanding of this room. I don't know why you think this bucket will be useful. I see. So this is, like, a dungeon where people were kept, and they died here. Charming. It's not really charming. I think this place sucks. I see, so we don't want the blood door to open up, because that's where the goat monster is, right? I think. Is there a goat in here? No! There is really not a goat in here. Is 
The truth is, though, I still have no clue at all what the name of that kobold is. I'm gonna guess it has the letters in it that I've already used. You know, call me crazy. I hate to leave candles like this, right? I mean, I hate to not leave candles, but I feel like it's the best move right now. I'm pretty sure these guys do know we're here. They're just physically incapable of going under the tables. Right? That's what's going on, right? I'm not wrong about that, am I? Yeah, I, I guess that I decided not to quit this game after all. Where'd that guy go, though? Guy? I mean, I'm pretty sure he's to the right. He... I don't know what gender that thing is. Well, I mean, if I had to guess, I'd say it's genderless. Okay. Now what? Do we want to try and get the... Uh, how many coins do I have? That's the main thing here. It really does ratchet up the tension. Just four? I really want to get that gold key, man. I feel like it'd be a nice gold key to have. But, uh... Also, what's this for? Anyway... Okay, so... The red guy, let's go get that thing. Hello? Ah, uh, we're fine. I mean, not really. L look at the place we're in. We're not fine in this place. This is the worst place that has ever been anywhere. I really- I thought I've seen some of the worst places in these video games I've played on this channel, but you know what? He knows we're under here, but I don't think he can actually attack us while we're under the table. Right? I'm pretty sure that's how this works. What am I waiting for, exactly? He's never gonna be in a position where it's not going- where, it, like, it's not gonna be a threat to me. He's just- he just is an th inherently threatening presence. Wait, is that the chest right there? I thought it was against the far wall. I guess clearly I was mistaken. Huh? Okay, quick, open it, open. No! Hide! Damn it. Under the table! Okay, good job. You know, his vision actually isn't very good, is it? If I remember, his eyes were bleeding, so... Figure I shouldn't be surprised. That he has bad vision, I mean. Where was the chest? Where was the chest? Oh, damn it. Here, here it is. Yeah, I know, I got it. I got the letter. Let's get out of here. And never come back. I mean that. Never come back to that room. Never again. I have to say, though, in a way it was almost worse waiting for the servants to turn up than it has been to actually deal with them. Don't get me wrong, I don't like them, but it's really not as bad as I as it could have been, I, I guess. Now if I can just get through that deadly gauntlet room, I think I'm going to be willing to save a soul again. Oh boy, I hate the deadly- When I say the deadly gauntlet room, I don't mean the room with the, like, the fire in it, you know? I mean that room with the, uh... With the pillars. Yeah, this is the room. So, the traps are like, where there's a blood stain, there's a trap. I stepped on a trap! No! No, 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 no! No! 
God damn it! <sighs> this is really frustrating, but unlike Yggdra Union, it's not like a breath of relief. You know, I'm not like, oh, thank God, when I'm not playing it, you know? I actually think, I kind of want to see what happens. Hey, Eisbein. Here's, here's my plan. Oh, God, how much for the corn again? Three coins. Corn is the gold of the poor. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Okay. I got a little, little plan here. I got a plan. Hey, Eisbein, you like corn, right? Raw corn. You see, it's not that I... I don't know if his mother is the one who turned him into a pig. Because he's such a nasty guy anyway. How can we really even trust any of them? Or either of them? Really, no, any of them. Well, I guess guy... Or the treasure hunter lady's okay. Hey. Hey. Hey, Eisbein. I'll trade this corn for the letter you keep. Yeah, keep dreaming. <laughs> This letter is worth much more than that handful. Besides, I'm nosing at the ground to see if I find corn in the castle. I can smell corn for miles. As you wish. You don't know what you're missing. You don't know what you're missing. You won't be the new Count Lucanor. <laughs> I could use the corn as a bait, but I should find a cage big enough for Eisbein. No, that's a good, it's a good thinking. Don't worry, I know exactly where we're gonna leave that corn. Oh no! Let's uh, wait for that fellow to pass. I just need to be a little bit patient. They don't come out here, they don't like it outside. That's why everyone's hanging out here, I really don't blame them. Okay, is he gone? No, he's not gone. Okay, maybe it would be better if I... It's not better if I go around the other way, though. They all, Do they always spawn at the same spots? I'm gonna say yes. So, I think I'll just have to try and go around to that room from up here. Oh, come on, there's gotta be a hiding table. There's a hiding table. And I just need to wait for the, uh... Or actually... What's upstairs anyway, right? So... I guess I've just kind of been taken on faith that these doors are locked. So that one... Yeah, they're locked. But like, here and only here, things don't consistently stay lit. Why is that? Like, look, this one... This one is lit now. I don't know what's going on with that. The problem is, though, even with all these letters we've gotten, we really are absolutely no closer to knowing the kobold's name. At all. We still have no idea what his name is. Oh, hold on. Down there. Okay, we're just gonna hide here. Sooner or later, the mask creature is going to pass us. In the meantime, I suppose I can wonder what these things are on top of the table. One of them is clearly some kind of vase on the left, but on the right, what is that? Is it a little tree? A sort of bonsai tree kind of thing? I don't know. I really don't know, and you know what? I really don't like this castle. But I guess that's no surprise, is it? I feel like I've had nothing but bad luck since we've been in here. Then again, a lot of that bad luck was on other timelines, before our soul was saved. I suppose that a raven saving our souls in a very different way than, say, Jesus might. That's actually something missing from this fantasy, like, European fairy tale setting. They were very religious, those Europeans.
Okay. In here. Yeah, this looks this like a good spot. This is a great spot to throw the corn. So, do it. I better tell Eisbein there's corn in here. Once he's eating, I can lock him in the cage. Well, the thing is, you really need to tell him? I thought he said he would smell it. Hold on. I'm curious. Do we have to tell him? Yeah, I guess we have to tell him. Okay, we're gonna have to make another trip around this corridor. This, that's the ironic thing. We're like right where we want to be, but it's gonna take us so long. Okay, Eisbein. You pig. That's what you're doing here, huh? You're searching for corn in the cr- It's really the most horrifying thing I think in this whole game is just this state of degradation this man is in. Whoa. Someone's left a handful of corn in the blue room with the blue chest in the middle. How is he avoiding these guards? I mean, I guess I should know how, shouldn't I? You know, that we saw him hiding under a table earlier. In this case, he's probably not even avoiding them. He's probably just sort of rushing through. So you liking that corn? Eyes mine. Don't worry. Just a second. I can be clever too, you know. Let me out, please. I can, but please let me out. I'm begging you. I'll let you out, but first, you'll give me the letter you've taken. I have the darned letter. I don't want it anyway. You're just gonna touch that? It was in his anus. I, earlier when I remarked that, when I remarked that, you know, where is he carrying it? I kind of didn't think that that would really be the answer. Let me out, please. And yet he's still eating. What a monster. Oh, I won't kill him though. You happy? And then while we're both standing in here, somebody else triggers the cage again? I think I'll stay here to finish the corn. You see, you see what we've just done now? All that? This! That's how much you gotta do to make that save worth it. Justify every one of them. We got a bunch of letters, don't we? I hate to, oh no! What choice do we have? Hey, Mr. Raven, there you go, a gold coin. Please, save my soul. You know, he almost looks cute when you see his overworld sprite, but then you see that face, you know?